UT is unveiling a seat, a chair that will always stay unoccupied to represent those who have been declared prisoners of war or missing in action. Maybe offer up a, a small prayer or a thought for, for that missing service member, that, that, that service member that is a, a prisoner of war. That's the reaction the university is hoping for from game goers. In the sea of bleachers, there will stand a chair, a chair that represents much more than just a seat. So the seat is going to be dedicated up in section one of our glass bowl, and that will be a seat that no one will ever be able to sit in, and it's basically a seat of honor. So it's a way for us to have a constant reminder of the more than 83,000 prisoners of war and missing in action since World War II alone. The chair will be unveiled on Saturday's football game versus Navy. UT will be the first university to designate a POW MIA seat at one of its sporting venues. As part of the ceremony, there will be a flyover featuring a World War II vintage torpedo bomber. You know, as a veteran, it means a lot that the university is, is taking the time to, uh, to, to do something so special for the men and women that uh, never came home. As a veteran and military liaison at UT, Lieutenant Gunbari is hoping chair will be a reminder for fans of those who cannot be at the game. While they may be here with us in thought and in, in prayer and in spirit, they're, they're not here with us physically. So that chair, when, when the entire stadium is packed and you glance over and you see an empty chair, Hopefully it's going to cause you to think, why is the chair empty? Reporting in Toledo, I'm Washgon Shurkat. What a great story. Let's hope that the